So in this episode of Viral Rewind, we're looking at the Schism DOS virus. Now, Schism is another file-infecting virus. However, it is non-memory resident. So that means that infection only occurs whenever the infected file that contains the Schism virus is run. Let's run Schism. And the thing about Schism is because it's not memory resident, it infects a executable file at random. It will infect .exes and .coms, but because it's not memory resident, whatever it decides to infect is going to be random. So I'm going to go into the main DOS directory because during testing I found that's kind of what it tries to do is infect files in that directory. So let me see if it's been trying to do that. And I think the attribute might be done, but we'll go back to temp and we'll run schism a bunch of times over and over just so we can get a nice thing of files infected here. I think that's enough. Now, schism has a graphical payload. And it only happens whenever it's Friday the 25th of any month. So, not only can it be the 25th of a month, it also has to fall on a Friday. So, let's change our date, because obviously it's not Friday and it's not the 25th. We'll go into the future here. Verify that September 25th of 2020 this year is indeed Friday. Now let me go into the dust directory and see if we can find a file that's been infected with schism. Get that graphical payload to come up here. So let me try attrib. Because that might be infected and it was during testing. Let's see if it's done it again here. And there it is. Schism. So you get this little guy and it says schism there and it says the man who brought you 622 Schism 1 Captain Trips and Sub-Zero now shakes you again with his latest Schism 1992 virus. Get a late pass. And once this happens, it hangs the computer system. So all we can do, do Control-Alt-Delete, and everything will be fine. Now the problem is and I'll show it here after the computer reboots. The problem with schism when it infects a file is it practically destroys the file. So, see, command.com also got infected because it just came right up again. So, and unfortunately we don't have the nice VGA 240, so I will just pause the video so it's not flickering at you. But because command.com got infected with schism, then every time the computer boots up on Friday the 25th of the month, Schism comes up again. So let me get back into DOS here so I can try to show you what I was trying to say before this came up. And we're back. I had to use the boot diskette for the computer and even had to recopy the nice VGA 60Hz refresh program over because that also got infected with Schism, so I couldn't use that. So anyway, I got that back and we're back in DOS here. The thing about Schism that I was trying to mention before during the reboot when command.com came up showing that it was infected is that if I run a program like Attrib and I've changed the date back to May 27, which is today, if I run Attrib, see Attrib is not working correctly. Attrib is usually supposed to give me some kind of response. See if other programs are doing the same thing. See, mem is for memory. Notice how we didn't get any display there. Let's see if xcopy gives us anything. xcopy does not give us anything either. So what schism does is it infects the executables in such a way that they no longer work. The programs completely don't work. All they do now is help spread the schism virus to other applications on the disk. So every time we're running xcopy, mem, attrib, when it's not Friday the 25th, it's just spreading schism around. But again, when it does become Friday the 25th, then we get that little graphical payload. So, 
that's pretty much it for the schism DOS virus.